Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Oat Belleron. Today we're heading down to the shop. Uh, we have a mess to clean up on fields two and seven. Uh, we managed to successfully get some bales down and complete the contract on field seven last time. Uh, but field two is a little bit different beast. We've got a lot of bales still up on that field and we need to deliver at least six of them to complete the contract so uh yeah we need to get something down there that's better than these because unfortunately we have created bales that are too big to fit on these grabs um and to be honest we have a whole load of straw bales down at our farm anyway so we need to move them at some point so what i'm going to be doing today is grabbing us a bale trailer i don't think we have anything in there no so let's pop into here it will be under bale carrying or bale transport which is here bale loaders that's what it's under and we have several options so i've got the uh the Bale trailer from Bailey. That's 8,500. A little bit expensive. Uh, one of my all-time favorite uh, trailers. Really multi-use trailer. This, the, the Johnston. Um, that's 11,500 plus 1,750 on top to add the bale module. Um, so I'm not going to go with that. Um, what I'm thinking of going with is this. The Lizard G54. Uh, really nice and cheap, really easy to use, and should handle the bales we're after fairly easily. I'm going to go with the standard wheels on it. Main color, I'm going to go in red. Design color, I'm going to go in the darker black. And then the rim color, I'm also going to go in red. Uh, we are not going to have a number plate on this. And so, yeah, there we go. Uh, 16 ton trailer uh should do us fairly well this i think 2600 in the end so not very expensive uh but should be perfect so we're gonna buy that yes okay so that is now out here somewhere uh i'm gonna attach it to one of the g-series vultures we've got for this contract um because i did think of just taking my front loader tractor up there and uh, and loading on with that but to be honest i think those bales are going to be a little bit weighty and we're probably going to need a weight on the back of the tractor up there so we're going to hook this up to here and get this up to the field uh using this tractor and carting it using this tractor because that makes sense so let's get a hired worker sending this up to here right where are we um Let's select our vehicle, which is that one there. Let's set the destination, which is up there, like so. And that should now be away. Yep, there it goes. And we're going to head back up to the farmyard and grab our front loader tractor so that we can uh, go and get that up to the field and, uh, and get started loading some bales. We're about 40, 40, 41 episodes. In fact, I think this is episode 41 that we're up to of this series. And we're now making really good strides on here. Uh, I'm very much thinking... I've had this started up. I've left the engine up here this morning. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm very much thinking that what we're going to be doing on here is probably taking this series up to about 50 episodes. We will get the sunflowers harvested and get the sunflower oil in from there i want to get the cows in the next short while and get them all set up we've got a couple of cow pastures i think that should work fairly well for us for that um and that then means sorting a dairy out and uh, as i said earlier in the series i think we're gonna buy in some industrial sugar and so the aim over these last 10 episodes looking to end with episode 50 is going to be to get the cakes made so everything we're doing now is going towards that we're getting feed for the cows with these contracts uh we're going to be placing our cow pastures we're going to try and get hold of a uh, dairy there is a dairy on the map so my hope is we'll be able to get hold of that 
over the next 10 episodes. Uh, we want to buy a few cows and get the milk production going. And if we can do that, we can create butter as well as, uh, as milk. And uh, then we will be in a position where we are able to get uh, the cakes made. So that is the aim over the next 10 episodes. Can we bake cakes? Can we make and sell cakes before the end of this series? To be honest, I very much feel that that target is, should be within our grasp. And uh, as a result, yeah, I think, I think we'll make that on here. Right, we've got our tractor. Our G-Series has arrived and is up the top here. So let's just bring this into here. Now, can I pick up two bales at once? Is that going to be too much, even with this weight on the back? I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that that is going to work. How many of these... Oh, that's a good point. How many of these do we need? I said six, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see the details. 33,800. Uh, two of these bales, I think, is 11,000. Let's have a look. Yeah, 11,000 litres. So, six of these would be 33,000. That is slightly under the requirements for the contract. So, yeah, I think that would do it. I think that would be enough. God, speaking of being enough, this weight on the back is just enough to get these on here. That is, uh, that is quite a weighty amount on that trailer. So we're going to deliver six. I'm actually going to take eight. We've got 13 bales here. Uh, taking eight will leave five for us. Uh, it will also mean that we get an extra little bit of... Uh, an extra little bit of money. In fact, uh, what we might do is take eight, uh, take nine, including the small bale. So we don't need the little bale that's over there. We can put that on top. And that will then leave us with four silage bales for us to do the cows with. Uh, that should be plenty. I'm not expecting us to need much more than that. And we can always come and do some more contracts and things if we find we need to. Right. Getting into the other side of this is going to be interesting. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to put four more on. So, that's going to leave five on the... Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. It, I think we got 13 of this size bale plus the small one. So, this will leave five bales for us. Uh, that actually is pretty perfect. Uh, it also ensures that we do absolutely have as much as we need. Um, but uh, I don't know if that will... Uh, well, it'll just give us a little bit of extra money, which is which is exactly what we need now. We have a lot of stuff to buy. We've got the dairy to buy, and we have got the cow pasture to buy as well. Final two to get on the trailer. I don't know if this loader is going to be in the way. Is that, or can I get around? No, I can get around that. That's good. So, bring this on here. Now, these bales only just fit on this trailer. And actually, we're on a slight downhill slope here. So, this might be a little bit painful. But I want to... Right, okay. Get these on here, hopefully. Without making them fall off. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's, it's fairly wide... Um, oh, they're, they're a little bit wider than this trailer. We have got them on and we have got them strapped down. So that's all good. I want to quickly grab this bale here. As I said, uh, it's smaller than the others. It's only three and a half thousand liters. Uh, but it is, and as a result, sorry, it's not a huge amount of use to us. It needs to be, uh, it needs to go on top of here, I think. Uh, that way we can clear it out and we only have to worry about the five bales then that we've still got on the field. Uh, mm -hmm. Along with the bales we've got in the other one. We've got more of these ba uh, of these smaller bales on the other field. We only delivered one of the small bales from our other side. Oh, there is one up the middle there. Like that. 
does it perfectly. Uh, so yeah, we only delivered one of our small bales uh, from the hay field. So we're going to have at least uh, one more to deal with off there. Right, let's leave this here. And I'm going to go and take this G-Series down to the BGA. And we will see if... Well, no, this should complete the contract. It's a case of how much extra cash are we going to have from it. Biogas plant is an even further distance to travel than the uh, animal market is. But we have made it down here. My biggest worry at the moment is... Uh, can we unload this without needing our front loader? That is slightly worrying. Um, but we'll see. We'll pull in here and see if it starts unloading. No. If I do that. There we go. All in. Contract complete. An extra. Only an extra 4,067. So didn't make that much from those extra bales as I thought we might. Uh, so yeah, worth holding on to them rather than selling them on um, because they're going to be much more used to us to feed the cows. So back up to the field and bring it in and on here. And if I park in the middle of where all these bales are, we should be able to load them up fairly quickly. And put this here and yeah try and keep it on a fairly flat area of the field as well would be useful grab our z -tour. back it up and we've got two over here three over there and that should then clear this field i'm going to load the back first because we'll get more over the wheels if we do that uh, and that should make the uh <laughs> the little vulture a little bit more stable going down the road uh, hopefully avoid lifting the back wheels off the uh, off the floor though right and in ah depth perception I've said it many times before not the easiest thing in farm sim right there come on that's got it they're at slightly different heights which is always a pain to unload uh, but if we are careful, we can maneuver it so that uh, that will be fine. I don't want to put these on here too far. Because as we discovered with the last load, uh, they need to overhang a little bit from the edge. That's what I feared. Don't bounce. Yeah, look at that. Slightly different heights meant that we managed to pull that one off ever so slightly from the trailer. And as a result, we weren't able to get it onto the trailer properly. Right, try the same thing again. There we go. They're on the trailer. It's not pretty, but they're on. I did the thing that I always seem to manage to do when I'm trying to put silage bales on a trailer. Managed to unwrap one of them, which is very, very annoying. Uh, but we can get... Actually, from here, I'm going to put this on the other side. Yep, like that. And then hopefully... Yeah, there we go. So we've got space for three more bales on here. And uh, yeah, then any small ones on the top. So let's pop down to the other field and see what hay bales we've got kicking down there uh, that can come back to our house. And hopefully I've got follow me on here. Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, head down there. Here we go, round and down, and just the other side of this house should be our hay bale field. How many do we have on here? Uh, count two? Oh, wow. I thought we had more than that. Uh, so two bales by the looks of things on here. That's fine. That will get us started at the very least with our cows. But I thought there was another small one up here. Did we only get five bales in total off this field? That was... It, that's a really small... I suppose that makes sense. But yeah, that's a really small amount off here. 
Uh, I think long run, we will probably, as I said last time, have to get a another contract on here or or even just buy this field i mean this is not an expensive field uh but it may be that it's it's more expensive to to buy it than i'm willing to put in on this all right we should be able to load this up on here that bail on the right is really wonky though loading this up on the road is going to yeah make the traffic very unhappy but never mind. Let's get this. See if we can get this on here. Not the best. This. But it is going to fit on. So on it goes. We will get this strapped down. Double pressing it. Don't mean to do that. Right. There we go. Then we can take both of these back to our farm and we can complete this contract. I am just going to do a quick run around this field because I really thought I had at least one other small bale, but apparently not. No, there's not even one that's rolled off anywhere. Okay, back to our farm. So there we have it. All of that has been cleaned up. Look at those gorgeous sunflowers. Though those fields are so near to being ready and that's just going to produce a huge amount of oil for us, uh, which is brilliant. Very, very happy with the way uh, that has gone. Our bale trailered tractor is coming in behind us. Let's go turn this off here. Now, these bales, I'm just going to leave on the trailer, actually. And... Let's take the hide worker off that and uh, and park them next to the bales we've already got here uh, they will eventually go up to the cow area so bring this into here and pop that there uh, but yeah we do not need all of that straw so uh, that come at the end of the year can be sold off as well uh, all in all though i'm pretty happy with those contracts let's pop into here we have a little bit of loss due to what we leased um, but in general that's all good field two is eight and a half thousand so we'll collect that and collect that and that pretty much would have paid for the bale trailer We've got a few contracts kicking around. They're not awful ones at the moment. Uh, there's that massive cultivating contract which we might have to take on. Uh, I don't know how much the dairy is on here. To build our own dairy uh, is probably going to cost a fair whack. Production factories. Where is the dairy? There it is. So 70,000 for us to build our own dairy. Um, I don't think we have a... Oh, yeah, we do. We have a small dairy that we can build ourselves for 50,000. So there is that. Um, but uh, at the moment, I'm more interested in getting the cows set up and started. So let's take the truck and we'll head up to the area where I want to, to do the cows. We've got £69,390 to play with. That should be enough for us to get a uh, to get um, some some cow setup done. Uh, now we do need to get some TMR into them, some total mix rations. So I'm gonna have to at the very least release a uh, I or a mixer for that. Right. So where I want to put the cows is up the top here. It's a little bit away from our farm, but it uh, should work out fairly well for us. We've been holding on to this land to do this. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. Construction uh, animals. Now, for cows, you're looking anywhere from 75,000 uh, up to 722,000 for the base game stuff. But uh, Alien Jim has released his cow barns, which are 40,000 each. Perfect for here. We've got the simple cow barn, though, 
which is 25,000. I think this, this does do milk. So actually, that would be perfect. And um, we'd need to get it with... Yeah, it's going to cost us a fair whack of money to get it done. Can I minimize the price this is going to cost me? Not easily. It overlaps with another object. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, we can. That's only 25,300. So there looks to be a fairly uh, flat area. There is, yeah, there is most definitely not. And it's probably going to affect our crop. So I'm looking to put this here. Uh, 25,300. There we go. Look at that. Our little cow yard up the top here. Uh, a little bit of a raise there, but otherwise... For most part, it's nice and flat. So what I might do is just uh, get the leveling tool on there a little bit. Let's uh, go landscaping. And we're just going to... Oh, I am standing right in the way. I am just going to smooth this out a little bit. Now, we didn't need a massive... Uh, oh, that's that. Cute. Uh, we didn't need a massive area. All we needed was to be able or a massive cow shed we just needed to be able to to actually do stuff with the cows so we've got milk coming out of here uh feed water and the cows themselves now for us to buy some we've got up to 25 cows now those won't produce uh i don't know how old so these are zero 12 months 18 months so healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce at which point we will get milk so i am going to get some holsteins uh if we get because we got a we got a fee for transporting them and getting them here Ten thousand. we get 10 cows uh, that's 15,500 plus 1,000 to get them transported to us. Um, yep, we are going to grab 10 cows, get them set up. And look at that. We've got some cows. We've done it, chat. We've got cows. Now we need to feed them. So uh, let's go grab them some water. And then we're going to go and see if we can get a feeding wagon for not a huge amount of money and uh, and get our first TMR into them. We're still having to travel quite a way for water on here. I would like to put a water tank in, but considering that I am 23,000 short of what I want to make my next purchase on, uh, I I want to save up the money, save up the cash, and uh, and and sort of work towards that. So what we're doing at the moment is just going to fill up our water trailer. Uh, we're only going to do one load with the water trailer uh, from down here. I found this is the most effective point to fill up the water trailer from. A couple of people have suggested a couple of other places, uh, but this really brings you fairly close to the water's edge. And allows you to really easily back the water trailer into the river. Put it just down here like this. Right. And then refill it. And it's nice free water out of the river. And we'll uh, we'll take this up to our cows. Uh, get them something to drink. And then we can go from there as to trying to get a mixing wagon and getting them fed. Back up to the top with the water. We should be able to pull in over here. Yeah, like so. It might, I do wonder if it's worth putting in a water butt up here. Water is not accepted here. Oh no, a little bit further forwards. There we go. Unload the water. Uh, are they going to take all 7,500 litres? they'll take the vast majority of it if they don't take all of it yeah there we go all of that in so how does that look for our cows wow we need to go feed the chickens as well 
But the uh, the cows, yep, that's a, a good amount of water to get them started. Uh, we want to pop down, though, and we're going to go and find a feeding wagon. Let's see what we've got in the shop that we can grab in the way of feeding wagons. So, animals... Yeah, the cheapest one in here is 29,500. I don't have any mods in here and I just want to keep this going at the moment. Again, I'm going to lease this so I'm not going to put a number plate on it for now. Uh, let's lease that. Uh, so this costs uh, £295 per day and 619 per work hour. Uh, it's actually probably worth just keeping this kicking around at £295 per day. So, uh, yes, we are going to lease that. Uh, because eventually we will uh, it will pay for itself and uh, that's fairly useful. We're not going to be using it very often, especially as we're not going to be getting bales in very often. At the moment, we have to buy bales in in order to get them for feed. But there we go. And I'm going to hook this up to the other tractor while I'm loading it so that it can mix while we're loading. And then we will switch tractors around when it comes to doing the feeding. Or maybe I'll just drive the uh, New Holland up the top uh, to feed the cows. That, that might work as well. So let's bring this back into our farm and disconnect it here. Like so. And then head over to here. And I think we're probably best pulling the bale trailer out. Uh, I think that will be the best way to go with this. Now, this only holds... How much does this hold? This only holds... Um, 11... So, yeah, just under 12 meters squared. Uh, what we can do, then, with the size of these bales put in one hay one silage and then we got a little bit of uh, um straw that ended up in our uh in our silo that i need to get out anyway so what i'm gonna do is just top it up with that and we can go from there so like that Let's take that off. Then I want to switch tractors and hook this up to our feeder. Uh, this is a little bit overkill for what we really have. Although, actually, these tractors are fairly similar in their uh, horsepower. We tend to use this for field work because it is uh, a little bit more chunky and it has a better turning circle. Although, it course, doesn't have the crop sensor bits on it or the gps so yeah these two tractors tend to both sort of be all rounders on our farm let's undo that undo that and undo that and yeah i am going to put that one in first um because heck i uncovered it i might as well there we go get rid of it nice and early and in I think that front one is still going to be strapped down. Let's have a look. Are you going to pick it up? Yeah, it's still strapped down. Go and undo that strap and hopefully not undo this bail. Yeah, there we go. Oh, always a worry. Come on, both of those off. And this is why I had the weight on here earlier. Because you can see how much that is destabilizing this tractor. To have these two bales on it. And go uphill a little bit. Spin it round. And then somehow we're going to get these two bales in. In fact, I know exactly how. I'm going to take them one at a time. Because the wheel weights on this tractor can handle these one at a time. So silage bale in first. We'll drop that in there that will mix that in and then on top of that we're gonna add this oh wow and this is 6500 so we only want 
about uh, we want to leave about a thousand liters in this I think although no actually this will take all of it and it should be still a good enough mix yeah just a hundred liters short uh, that is fine so park this here and we will turn on the mixing as we take this up the top to go and get our cows fed and uh, start the milk production going. Like all my series, I think this tractor could do with a good clean. But we, uh, yeah, we got a very dirty uh, tractor here. Smoothing that land out was a very good idea. That's working really well. TMR out. And uh, yeah. Let's get our cows fed. And there we go. The cows are going to take all of it. Fantastic. Right. I am very happy with that. That is a great start. We've got our cows all set up. And uh, they should start producing some milk now. Yep. Well over half full. Um, we have decent amount so with any luck we're gonna get some milk and can get this journey towards making some cake started for now i'm gonna leave this here so all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye